Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about the solar eclipse. This is a really important time. And the title of this video is Solar Eclipse Zero Point Lights Out. Why am I calling it this? This is actually what we've been expecting for quite a while. And this is an alignment also with the galactic center. There's several things going on all at the same time. August has been a month of several retrogrades. I'm sure a lot of you felt the Mercury retrograde energy start up a few days ago, even a couple days before it was officially in retrograde. But this is going to be about the solar eclipse. And what does it mean for twin flames? And I need to let you know that while a lot of you are finding your way home, what I have to talk about is very twin flame specific. There are messages out there and a lot of people, you know, gather things in as they need and as what resonates with them. But increasingly you will find that you actually need what is specific for twin flames. Because once that process starts up for you, you just know, and you know you have an other. So what has been happening actually since about March for Blu-rays is the beginnings of these closures. What has um, started up for the other twin flame, Illumin, Seraphim, Anophanum, and Cherubim couples is that started in June, the disentanglement of yourself from all of your cosmic quantum universal entanglements. And what does that mean? It means closure. It means you can finally put a close to things. Now not everyone's easy with that. Not everyone is sure. Not everyone is really aware enough to know that these are opportunities that it's just like saying one door is closing, another one's open. Okay. Yes, there is a huge closure. So the lights out, this is going to be where, um, particularly across the United States, it will feel like everything goes, you will actually see things go dim. You'll see the light in the sky, even if it's cloudy, everything will go dim. You might feel disoriented, you might feel confused, you might not be getting your guidance. In fact, that's a huge thing. You will not really be getting guidance. In fact, I had a reminder the other day of just some of the uh, televisions back in the 70s. If you had someone drive by with a CB radio, suddenly on your television you'd get... <laughs> Uh, 911 call, we have an emergency, there's a fire, it's and you'd get snow on your television, but you'd hear someone else's frequency, or you were actually, your TV was actually on that frequency, and this is all going to change, so the energy here, and this means on earth, the totality of earth, not just the United States, where the eclipse is mostly visible. But here on Earth, why? Because we've all commingled and we have every nationality here in the United States. It sends the ripple effect. And the energy will be low. So this is the suggestion for you. Stay within, stay within quite a bit, frequently. Frequently throughout the weekend, prior to, it happens on Monday, August 21st, here in the United States. Afterwards, you will need to set yourself right again. Because like I say, you might feel disoriented, you might feel confused, you might feel a bit oogie, like slightly queasy. If you're on your way, you probably have over the past two weeks been feeling a bit of queasiness in your gut, in your organs, and a sense of movement or possibly dizziness. You probably are also having a lot going on with your adrenal glands. 
and some of the other parts of your body, the neck, the head, and there are reasons for it. This is the reason. This is also going to be the closure of all ancient times, including Lemuria and closing Atlantis, the Pallades, and those stargates. That's what's closing. So if you identify as someone who has lived here in the time of Lemuria, in the time of Atlantis, if you have a vague memory, if you feel connected to certain geographical points here, more than likely you did, but your memories of it have already been archived into the Akashic Records. They're not accessible to you. This is the finishing for you. The stargates are closing. And you won't be able to go to places that are ancient that particularly have been traumatized. Now, this also means the relief or the beginnings of relief for some people and alleviation of dis-ease and spiritual illness. What that means for twin flames is that you will gradually purge out of your body any dis-ease, any ancestral illness, any spiritual lineage illness, and other types of diseases if you have propensities or tendencies towards things. And spiritual dis-ease and illness can also be perceived as a mental illness. There's an imbalance or disturbance between several of your subtle bodies. And that actually is what causes cancer as well. And it's going to be the beginnings of relief and alleviation. Again, what does that mean? That means that you have to focus on your light body because it's not going to do it without your participation. It means the setups are in place for this to happen and the closure is happening so that you can. It does require your active participation. You must also continue to integrate the template of relationship for 5D living. That is the gift. So for some of you who say to yourself, I don't know why I chose this. I know I chose to be here, but I really don't know why. I'm not sure this is what I want. Yes, you do. Yes, and you were very wise to do it, and you're a pioneer, and you're one of the front runners. This is the gift that's being given right here. Why here? You are the elemental part of your higher selves. You're the elemental part. Yes. You have two bodies so you can collapse everything. And it might not feel that way to your human self. However, there was a wisdom in coming here. And yes, the full alleviation and relief of anything from ancient times and getting a brand new body, that's priceless. That is priceless. And yet, learning about it has to be taught. You still will need healing. You still will need things. And again, therein requires active participation, getting to know about it. You have, for the most part, one year to finish if you are still living in karma. You may or may, you may not be fully supported if you're living in karma. If you are living in a karmic situation, you're still living karmically or your twin is. Pay attention to this part because you have one year to finish stuff. What does that mean for people? That, mean, that will still mean things like breakups, finishing court cases. It's going to mean maybe starting a court case that you need to, like such as a divorce or custody agreement or petition for a visa or immigration. It might mean for you to actually find that you do not have you do not have the um, wherewithal to get yourself supported unless you are connected with your other so you have one year to finish if you're living in karma if you're still doing addictive behaviors and I find that happens uh, out there you know people have money for certain things especially their addictions and so forth and, you know, they make that the priority because that's what they're having a relationship with. And yet, 
Other things will become your priority and should become your priority. Your union should be priority number one. So you have one year to finish, that's your grace period. And again, you may not be fully supported unless you are connecting with your other. You might have to move, you might have to sell a house, it might mean contracts. Those contracts are not for this time. Those, the timing for it is when the energy moves forward. This is your hunker down time. Hunker down and get still and let what happens need what needs to happen happen because it's happening regardless now what about this one year this is your grace period this is the grace period that is being offered and again you might find that some things start up again so for people that are coming together I will have some other timelines for you in my next video I'm not going to talk about it here I want to encourage you to enjoy the eclipse enjoy viewing it particularly if you're in the United States this is a huge event get your eclipse glasses yes these came with the words American Eclipse August 21st 2017 it's not just ours though okay it is something for everyone. I know a fair number of people who travel and they just love to travel and see astro astronomical events, astronomy, not necessarily astrology. So astrology, talk about cosmic astrology. This is a biggie, people. This is a biggie. And this is go also going to serve to elevate people you're going to have new perspectives. There's a lot of good things that are going to come out of this. But there are a lot of people that are going to be left scratching their heads and wondering. That's going to be the people in this one year grace period. I still encourage you, finish what you started. Finish what you set out to do. Your agreement with your other, which is to be who you came here to be. Have your brand new body. Now, in order to help you with that, I do have several things. Um, one really important one right now, which is very helpful for people, is a webinar I wrote called Universally Free to Fly. And in this, I talk about the release and alleviation of the mental emotional body, the ego mind, how to do it, how to draw your higher energies in. I talk about addictions and I talk about your wings because how you get out of body does actually involve your wings and that is a tangible part of you but it is not visible to the human eyes and yet people are able to see it with their cosmic heart eye and I talk about that how it is because that is different than previously and you do need to connect with each other in order to do so also a little bit about the mental emotional a lot of people are going through grief and sadness and you're releasing that ahead of time because you're closing out these ancient times you miss it you're missing the good times you're missing people you're not missing the trauma or the cataclysms that happened or the invasive energy you're really not missing that that's what's being closed out and so I encourage you use my materials to gather yourself in tuck yourself in get yourself ready get all of your metaphysical subtle body parts ready for each other because I will still continue teaching this in fact I'm doing things now that I will teach months from now why because people are just passing through this portal I get the materials ready for people to step right into it's here for you Patricia, why do you repeat things? Why do I repeat things? Well, actually, that's actually a good question. There are people who are just now waking up and they're being woken up just in the nick of time. They are actually just finding out what some of this is for them. You know, why have things gone in, you know, on in their life? Why when they met a person did their world turn upside down? And again, this is mental, emotional stuff. How do you get rid of the 
lower spectrum emotions. How would you do that? How would you do the things that linger around the head like guilt, judgment, obligation, duty? I'm ashamed of myself. I'm unworthy. Self-esteem issues. How would you do that? It actually is outlined in this webinar, Universally Free to Fly, because that is more than the ego. These are things that may have been said to you. What if your twin has been told repeatedly, not just in this life, that they are a bad boy? Those self-esteem issues will come up, and they need to be gone because you don't want to take this with you. That's what this opportunity is. It's to get rid of this stuff, and this will help you with it. Also, I have a live webinar where I'm going to talk about daily living. Daily living. So if you are having your sleep disrupted, you're getting woken up at least once a night or three times a night. When I first started uh, with the sleep disturbance, and that actually has become my new normal, I wake up two to three times a night. And I wake up and I have learned the new way of sleeping. I teach that. I also will be talking about other aspects of daily living that you'll need to know that will be very helpful for you. So in my live ones, I do a question and answer session for people. You can participate as much as you want. You can see and be seen or you can have it off and you can just listen. Um, but I give you the ability to participate. You also will have a uh, short presentation and I walk you through an opening of your channels and a communing with your own twin. Not with the collective that you're departing from, not with ancient Egypt or ancient Atlantis or ancient Pallades, with your own other half. So especially if you've been upset, if you've been angry, if you've been bewildered and wondering and you want to know and you really need to get that love and feeling back, why not join? I'm doing one on August 24th at 8 a.m. Chicago time. That's the afternoon in Europe. That is um, the afternoon in parts of Africa and it's evening in parts of Asia. I am also doing one on Friday night, August 25th, at 7 p.m. Central. So it's early afternoon on the West Coast, it's evening on the East Coast, and in Hawaii it's the middle of the afternoon. In India, Australia, it will probably be your next morning. So if you want to join, the links will be below. They're also on my website. I want to thank everyone who has bought a webinar and I want to also thank everyone who has had a session or a reading with me or a causal body opening. We get your high heart connections open, we get your causal body and actually the anchoring spots for several other subtle bodies open so that you can continue along. What is your causal body? It is what causes it's your manifestor it's how you cause things to happen with each other and away from the rest of the collective which brings me to one other point mission what is your mission and this gets confusing for people and it will sometimes send you really into two different directions or two different mindsets instead of aligning with each other and alleviating different mindsets one of you becomes very determined to do something that actually is not in alignment with your union. Not everyone is intended to be a healer. There are people who have 5D connections who sell real estate, who are doctors. Yes, there are doctors and scientists who also are twin flames and they're awakening and they're aware of their connections. So what is your mission? What is first and foremost for you? It is the integration of the template of relationship for 5D living. That's it. Put yourself back into oneness. That's it in a nutshell. And some people, they stay on that shelf and they say, you know what, this is safe. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to remind you, one year. You have one year to finish up whatever you're doing. 
because if it's not in alignment, you're going to know things just won't flow for you. It's that simple. It just doesn't flow. Things flow when you're doing things that are aligned, not with the human heart, although that's part of it, with your cosmic heart. And I do know quite a bit about that. In fact, what I teach is a continuation of what I did do in Atlantis and actually did do in the Yucatan Peninsula and in Egypt. And I did some other things in Egypt too. I was an architect in that ancient timeline. It's a very far cry from the 5D ascended living that is our normal. And that is what you're here for, to get back to your true normal. Because it's not here. Don't be looking for your life here to, you know, really please you so much unless you are with your twin or until you're with your twin. It's going to be very flat. So go within frequently. It, things just won't be joyful. You can't hold the joy without holding your other. And there are things that are actually very new about your body that are not in ancient text or ancient teachings, which is why, while it f I'm saying that I did teach this in Atlantis, I am a teacher who is of the new earth. And everything has been made new so that whatever did happen doesn't happen again. Right down to the elemental part of you, which includes disease and illnesses. So if this sounds like it would be very helpful for you, please check the links below. Check out my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. Why do I call it that? Because I'm getting ready. I'm getting people ready so they can merge. Merging together. Yes, it happens. But it happens a lot easier. And here's the thing. A lot of people are having mini merges to set you up. Some of the things coming up here, you do need to know some things. So check it out or join my live webinars. I have quite a bit of information. And it's not just information because the information is still mental input. The biggest thing is I get you back to feeling. And that is the most important thing. That's what everyone wants. And we all want to get to that part where things just feel lovely. And people haven't been. There are still things that are going to happen here. Things will still fall apart. Cars will break down. Kids will fall off bikes. People might break a bone. And they'll need the medical community. And things are getting elevated. Doing your part means being the highest and best you. It means this. It doesn't mean overextending yourself. So watch that especially this weekend and on the day of the eclipse. So I'm saying enjoy, don't overextend. That is the best thing I can tell you. Thank you so much. Uh, one other thing to say, please get eclipse glasses. Do not gaze at the sun, especially if it's in partial coverage. You can cause permanent damage to your retina. Please don't do that. Sun gazing damages the structures within your eye, no matter what people say out there. Stargazing will not. Seeing the corona of the sun will not. But for all other times, do yourself a favor or these are running out fast, people. Get them if you're going to view it or share them with people. I intend to share with people around me while I'm viewing. And NASA has paid for about 2 million free ones that are being distributed. So I hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you on the other side. See you on the dark side of the moon. Okay, not the dark side of the moon, but see you on the other side. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.